in uh, bacteria, the thing that needs to be replicated is the chromosome, and I'm saying the chromosome because it's only one, and it's also closed and circular. It's about 0.5 to 10 million bases in size, 500 to 10,000 10, genes. Plasmids um, is something else bacteria carry, some bacteria carry. They're small, extra chromosomal, um, circular, double-stranded DNA encoding genes of non-essential functions. Uh, they're about 5,000 to 80,000 base pairs long, uh, roughly a thousandth of a chromosome. There are a few important points in replication, initiation. You need an origin, and you need a protein to initiate replication, and you need the terminus. The origin is a specific DNA sequence of which, at which replication begins. Um, DNA A is the protein that binds to the ori origin sequence and recruits the DNA polymerase that begins replication. Last but not least, the terminus is a DNA region at which each replication fork ends during replication. The helix is unwound and copied as nucleotides base pair with existing, existing sequence. So far, so good. Now, DNA polymerase is the one that polymerizes DNA. DNA is synthesized in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction continuously on the leading strand, but in segments on the lagging strand. Elongation is the second step in replication, and we know replication is bidirectional. The polymerase is going in opposite directions, and when they get about mid cell of the, of, when they get to about the mid cell point, uh, it the, the whole thing looks like a theta letters, so that's why this type of replication is called theta replication. So the two complexes of DNA polymerase set off in opposite directions. That's the key point here. The terminator is a very important part of replication because replication needs to end at a certain point, which we call diff site, um, which is enclosed by two other sites called ter, T-E-R, T-E-R sites, ter sites. Um, we're going to see why is that important in just a second. Um, the terminator, though, is a region of the chromosome with sequences that signal for DNA polymerase to stop replicating. I mentioned TUS, um, I, I mean, I mentioned TUR uh, sites. The important of those is that a protein called TUS, T-U-S, binds to it and prevents anterograde uh, replication. So it stops DNA polymerase near the diff site for a very good reason. Um, and it prevents DNA polymerase from proceeding in the wrong direction. If, for instance, the replication fork um, on the left is going much faster than the right, then TUS ensures that DNA polymerase stops near the diff site. Now, let's see. DNA polymerase and RNA polymerase are built so that they go in the same direction um, so that there is no collision between the polymerases. This is important because uh, there's so many other problems that the chromosome needs to deal with, such as uh, such as catenation. After replication, the chromosomes are linked together like uh, like a ring in in a chain, and they need to be segregated or separated or decatenated. And this only happens at the diff site, which is why it's important that the ter site stop replication before the diff site. Because at diff, you have other proteins that bind to it called ZER C and ZER D that recruit a very important enzyme called DNA top isomerase 4 to resolve the catenated chromosomes. So that's why diff site is very important. Top isomerase 4 cuts one chromosome at the diff site, separates, and repairs. The chromosome is segregated this way, but DNA polymerase always stays stationary at mid-cell. What moves toward the poles is the origin place, um, or you see that I mentioned in the beginning. This me the mechanism of segregation per se is currently unknown, but we do know how the chromosome gets away from each other, so that was the main point of this. There is, however, a growth paradox. Because for rapidly dividing a cells, it takes as little as 20 minutes to uh, divide. But it takes at least 40 minutes to replicate the chromosome. So if I understand this right, if a cell must have a chromosome, how is it possible to divide faster than replication? 
Well, that is because new rounds of replication begin before old ones end. So each cell inherits a partially replicated genome. 